Hey guys, Tom here at Phoenix Industries. Today we're going to be talking about the Phoenix 4200 data link. I'm going to be answering the most frequently asked questions, so let's dive right in. The most common question asked, what size gauge wire should I use for the main power input? The answer is, if you're going to utilize all 50 amps, then I recommend using a 6 gauge wire. Second common question is asked is, what size fuse should I use? The industry standard suggests that you use about 125% of the total amps that you're going to use. If you can put 12 volts into input F, you would go from full bright to 10% brightness. And that's how you do it. The serial communication ports can be utilized with a Phoenix GPL light bar, can be also be used with the Storm Pro 100 and 200 that you'll plug in via Cat5 in ports 1 through 3. You can use more than one light bar and you can use more than one Storm Pro siren system. So if you feel like you need to control three light bars, feel free to plug all three light bars in ports one, two, and three. In the event that you feel like you need more siren system power, go ahead and plug one, two, and three with either Storm Pro 100 or 200. The Phoenix 4200 controller can only be used with a Fusion GPL light bar. And if your light bar is equipped with a Cat 5V cord, then this can be used with your 4200 downlink. Light bars that have the Cat 5 cable that are non-Phoenix will not work and destroy the circuit board, so be careful. Now that we've talked about the application side, let's jump right into the software and program. Okay guys, now we're gonna switch gears on how to program my 4200 controller. What you're gonna do is get onto phoenixindustries.com, scroll over to controllers, scroll down and select the 4200 data link. In your download tab, you're going to select data link version 2.0 and download. Once you're able to open up the file, the screen should just look like this. We are going to go ahead and get your controller, plug it into the USB port. It's going to go from red border to green. That's how you know you've made communication. A common question about our 4200 controller is how to make the amber indicator on top of the controller simulate traffic advisor or emergency flash pattern with my light stick or similar products. In order to do so, you would have to select a button select the port that's going to activate that function and ensure to select the light bar tab and to hit left arrow right arrow or to do center out you're going to select both boxes to simulate any type of emergency flash patterns other than left or right arrow you can select either mode front mode rear mode two or mode three, you'll be able to achieve the emergency random flash pattern at the very top. The other common question asked is how do I program my pursuit switch? When it comes to programming your slide switch, we recommend programming positions to button. For example, position one or pursuit one, I recommend selecting the buttons you wish to activate. So in this case, I'm going to select or highlight P1 and activate buttons 1, 2, and 3. In the event that you have a function that is not dedicated to a button, feel free to select the port as well. For any additional videos on how to wire the 4200, see the link below. Thanks for watching and feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have.